In this video, I wanted to show you some of my favorite settings for the new Ninzuko Multi Time Frame Fusion Indicator. I've got it paired with Solar Wind. Solar Wind is painting the candles red and green. Multi Time Frame Fusion is painting the backgrounds, the signals, and these dots in this new panel. My base chart is a one minute NQ chart, and then I'm able to have up to four other data series. I've got a 15 second, a 500 volume, a 300 tick, and a Ninza Rinko with a value of 20 and 4. These settings will be the same across all the charts that I will be showing you today. I've changed a few of the colors on the control panel and for the plots. With all of Ninzuko's indicators, there's an incredible amount of customization options so you can get it to look just like you want it to. I've got the bar color disabled. That's so I can see the solar wind candles. So these are the five different time frames. And when all of these time frames align in one direction, we'll get a signal and we'll get a shaded background until one or more of the data series goes in the opposite direction. This is some pre-market action before the New York session, 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And something I've been doing when I'm trading is even before one of these signals appears, if I start to get most of these data series in alignment, four out of five, I can get into a trade a little bit earlier than one of these signals appears. Or even three out of five, I can get some potential clues on where the market might be headed next. And once I have my five data series up, maybe through my back testing, I notice one of these data series kind of throws off the rest on this chart, I'm noticing the 15 second is kind of in and out a lot. So if I wanted things to look smoother, I can go into my multi time frame fusion. I've got to have at least two data series for this indicator. So I'm going to move the volume up here move the 15 second down here. But I can enable or disable this. So let me disable this category. So now we've got the 500 volume, the 300 tick and the Ninza Rinko. 20 slash 4 along with our main data series type the one minute chart in the main window now we've got a lot less chop we've got stronger more consistent moves this is looking a lot better to me sometimes more complex is not always better in fact you might even find just working with one additional time frame is beneficial so all of these different data series are calculating signals from the Ninza Wada Atar Explosion Pro. And right from this little box, which I can move around wherever I like down here, just click on this indicator name, it opens up a separate window. This is where I can choose any indicator that I would like to have measured across multiple different data series. I've got the Ninza Wada Atar Explosion Pro. These are all factory settings. I did not change anything for the plot. Besides choosing which indicator you'd like, this is the most important part, choosing your plot. There's a lot of different plots to choose with the Wada Atar Explosion. I've got the Signal Trend as my plot. So this is one of my favorite indicators to use with the new multi time frame Fusion Indicator. Another one I'm really enjoying is the Ninza W-Wave Volume Pro. This is from 8 to 10 in the morning Eastern Standard Time during the New York session. You can see the multi time frame approach kept us looking in the right direction all morning long. None of these pullbacks got triggered. We just stayed in the direction of the overall trend. And again, I'm noticing that this 15 second time frame is not as harmonious with all these other data series. So I'm going to disable the 15 second data series. You can see here I could add a tick chart, a volume chart, a range chart, second, minute, day, week, month, year, Ninza Rinko, King Rinko if you have it. King Rinko is a separate paid indicator. Ninza Rinko is a free indicator that you can get by joining the Ninza family. So I'm going to disable that. And then once again I've got some smoother signals. You can scroll back to pre-market here. You can see the multi time frame fusion caught a really nice move. So the W Wave Volume Pro and the Wada Atar Explosion Pro, both with factory settings. A couple of my favorite indicators to use with the new multi time frame fusion indicator. I hope you got some good ideas that you can use in your own trading. There's links to these indicators in the description. 
Thanks for watching. Have a great day.